finding everything. We're just not sure if they're the exact. We're labeling the, it correctly. Yeah. Okay. So we so have. We'll do we have the mouth up yep. at the top. That's easy. Uh, the ostium is that this outside, this right here? Yeah, and it's actually up here in the top. And it is a ring of muscles that helps the okay. oral so disc there. open and contract. And there, okay. So then this next layer is that is such a filament. <laughs> No. no, that is what they call the radial uh, filament. It's not on there. Okay. It's basically the muscle that opens and closes the body cavity okay. as it brings in water or food. Uh, it make so it this. it'll open it up. But we talked about it having a hydrostatic skeleton. Mm. Hydrostatic skeleton basically is if it wants to make it rigid like a fist mm -hmm. for either protection then it brings in water and through that water pressure being yeah. in the inside it makes him stronger and tougher right okay and he also can be rigid because he's actually got something in there that he's eating all right yeah. and so when he brings in plankton or whatever he happens to be eating all right he also brings in water at the same time mm -hmm. And so those makes radial uh, filaments give him the ability to expand and decrease when he needs to. Gotcha. So this tissue, this would be the septal filament then, right? This yes. Is. Also better known as the mesentery. Right. And it's easier to see in the cross-sectional cut because everywhere, if, well, yeah. if you spread that open a little, everywhere that you spread it open, then you can see the different segments. Gotcha. Okay. Um, now, how do we know uh, mouth, pharynx versus digestive cavity? Okay. Yes. If the muscle structures are running longitudinal, like these are, mm -hmm. we're still in the pharynx area. Right. And now once we start with some cross uh, structures. Yeah. Now we're gastrovascular cavity. Okay. So that starts right about here. Right about there. Okay. And then anything below this large opening area that you have yeah. would represent this, and then that is about the bottom of your gastrovascular cavity. Okay. That's the reason that I ask you to do the cross section first, because sometimes you can see the uh, bottom of the gastrovascular cavity. Oh, uh, if you cut correctly. Yet, let me go get one. Sure. Maybe we'll show you one. So we still need the, th the pharynx. Is that just anything? That's the cavity, though, right? Or is that a specific kind of tissue? Yeah, look. Okay. So little larger specimen right okay so you've got all your mesentery you've got all your gonads but now you've got this big opening in the middle mm -hmm. okay that is the bottom of the gastrovascular cavity gotcha okay. so and a good rule of thumb is if you can't find it on your guy walk around and look at different uh different uh yeah different guys so that you gotcha. can uh so they may have something that you don't have. This came off the screen of this table. Okay. Um, and it's good practice to do when you in college because your particular specimen may not be the best in right. the world. As I was telling them earlier, out of two full days of dissection, which is over, we've opened up now over 40 of these, this is the best, uh, okay. best cross section that we've got, so that you can see the parts and the gastrovascular cavity. Okay, cool. Um, so, is the pharynx just the cavity? Pharynx is just kind of like yours as well. Okay, it runs from the mouth. Yeah. Okay, and it is all the tissue that runs longitudinal. All right, and it works the same way yours works. It's swallowing, basically. And now you see where your tissue right here starts running in different directions yeah. than the pharynx. Okay, this is where your gastrovascular cavity starts. Okay. Does um, that make sense? Yes, it does. 
Okay. So you said we have a hard time finding septums. Septums are hard to find, and in these species, uh, or these specimens we get, there it's not very easy to find because we can't define a few. We can't define a really good gastrovascular cavity in the first yeah. place. So it would be in here. It would be in there. Yeah. Okay. And that's um, the reason that we 86 that one on the board. Gotcha. And what about the <laughs> siphono? <laughs> Those are referring to the striations of the pharynx. Okay. So this is tissue running laterally? Mm -hmm. Okay. And then we start horizontally in ours. Then we have, uh, then we're into stomach area. So would this be horizontal running tissue? It's kind of waves. Yes. Yeah, okay. Mm -hmm. Cool. So we got this. You got it. Cool.